Anybody here a doctor? <laughs> Try to cop a field? I took a CPR class at the Y. Oh, useful if she was having a heart attack instead of a seizure. A seizure? Uh, hold her tongue down? If you want to get a finger bitten off, call an ambulance. Methodist is three blocks down. I could drive her. Just make the call. That. How should I know? Tell the paramedics to take her to Princeton Plainsboro. Her doctor's name is House. And it's Termigator winning by two lanes. She started to seize? Spend as much time around the real people as I do. Someone gets sick. Her platelets are 89. She's anemic. And she has a blood alcohol level of 0.13. Hot OTB, babe. Obviously a working girl. Probably an STD, infection. No fever, no infection. Alcohol abuse explains it all. It causes seizures and affects her blood's ability to clot, which causes bruising. Start on heparin, she'll be fine by morning. Except for the fact that the bruises are not particular, which means it's not DIC. So the bruises were caused by trauma. She probably got beat up by a boyfriend or a pimp. What's that called when you judge someone before ever meeting them? She's a regular at OTB. Somehow I don't see her holding down a nine to five and going to PTA meetings. I was there. I have a nine to three job. It could be SLE, familial telangiectasias, or even Cushing's. Good. Start with those. Which one? Cushing's. Explains the seizure and the bruising. Not the anemia. So she doesn't need a lot of meat. DIC brought on by alcohol abuse is far more likely. Do a full workup. H and P. And Labora. LP, MRI. Whoa! <laughs> Did you just ever so subtly order me to get her medical history? Cuddy put me in charge last week, so... Yeah. The mass in the pancreas is benign. It's probably just scar tissue. Good news. She's not sick at all, other than being an alcoholic. The labs you sent yesterday put her ACTH at 64 picograms per milliliter. She's got Cushing's. Something set it off. It's got to be in her brain. Set her up for a venous sampling. There is another possibility. Chase, hold on. How'd you get him trained so fast? Electronic column? Got treats in your pocket? She didn't even read the consent form for the pancreatic biopsy. Who reads those things? Maybe she didn't read it because she knew that there was nothing wrong with her. There is another explanation for the Cushing's. Maybe she injected herself with the ACTH. Her behavior suggests Munchausen's. She's had four hospitalizations in the last four months. Well, being hospitalized a lot certainly points to nothing being wrong with you. She's had zero symptoms since she got here. The scarring on her pancreas could be caused from injecting herself with the benzene and setting off the seizures. She's had brain surgery. You can fake a stomachache, you can't fake a brain tumor. You can fake an invisible one. We should check her apartment. Look for medications, syringes. Venus sampling's easier. And more dangerous. Not if you get caught bringing in. So don't get caught, house. There's even books in the bathroom. Well, either she's very smart or she has a severe fiber deficiency. got an appointment with her ophthalmologist on Tuesday and an appointment with her gynecologist on Thursday. Multiple appointments with multiple doctors. Symptom of Munchausen's. Or, just thinking outside the box here, she has a vagina and trouble reading. It's three pairs of reading glasses, each with different prescriptions, which would be explained by a tumor pressing on the optic nerve. Because you're looking for her to have a tumor. And you are looking for a person with Munchausen's syndrome drinks battery acid and then go to an ophthalmologist to get their pupils dilated. An ophthalmologist is a doctor. Attention is attention. How many hospitals have you contacted? As one doctor said she's crazy, it's not Munchausen's. It's not your call. Wait up. It's all right, she's gonna stay. Wonderful. Oh, bite me. I don't need to hear the riot act again. Would you like another medical test? What? Sip. Why? So you don't crack your skull when you pass out. Just do it. You know what the culture scene is? No. Well, don't feel bad. 
stands for gout. It's got nothing to do with anything you've ever pretended to have. I'm not pretending. Shut up. Colchicine decimates your white blood cells. It leaves almost no trace. It's great for faking your way into hospitals. I didn't fake my way. Shut up. You've been doing this for years. Don't worry, it's probably not your fault. When you were a kid, you had a close relative who had a chronic disease, probably a sister. You saw all the attention she got while you were left alone, ignored. And it really seriously screwed you up. I do not have a real oh. Shut up! I'm trying to give you what you want. And save your life. You have aplastic anemia. What are you trying to scare me now? It means you're not just sick in the head. The problem is, the rest of you appear as well, so I gotta make you seem as sick as you're supposed to be by injecting you with a drug that simulates the symptoms that you actually have. All you need to know is, you've hit the Munchausen's jackpot. I'm gonna give you a cocktail of insulin for seizure and colchicine to kill your white count. This will absolutely confirm my diagnosis of aplastic anemia. There is one small catch. If you've actually done something to yourself to cause the anemia, then I'm wrong. And if I do what I plan to do, then the treatment will kill you instead of saving you. So I need to know, have you been taking anything besides the insulin, the ACTH, the pills camera left in your room? No. Good. Give me her arm. It was my mom. She had MS. She was in and out of hospitals all the time. People were always trying to do things for her. Bring her food or brush her hair or make her happy. People cared. She died when I was 16. And there was no one. Boo-hoo. Where are you going? Well, I obviously can't be around when it happens. Well, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna... Relax. You know the drill. People walk by here all the time. It'll be fine. the door and she has another seizure. She must have somehow grabbed insulin on the way out. Once she's stable, we need to get her out of here before she does more damage to herself. We can't. Her white count's down. Sorry, I missed that. Hearing's been off since the Ricky Martin concert. Some cholo kicked me in the head. White count, hematocrits, and platelets are all off. The bone marrow's shutting down. She actually has aplastic anemia. Say what? All her other labs show nothing that would... Lab schmabs. A good diagnostician reads between the labs. You were right. Hey, hey, hey. We're not here to play the blame game. These things happen. Sometimes doctors send people out on the street to die after other doctors have warned them that they're sending people out on the street to die. There's no way you could know. I'll give her the news. 